Previously on The Move, we took it back to the fundamentals as we learned how to develop a safe walking program. It was a close race, but the blue team took it away in our team challenge. The red team is hot on their trail and is sure to step it up. We'll tap into the resources in our community to keep it moving and grooving and find new ways to stay on the move. Hello, I'm Paul Peterson and we're back on the move for a whole new take on fitness and active lifestyles. We're following the lives of our 12 contestants as they take on new challenges to become active and get fit. We'll get a peek into the kind of programs that keep us on the road to fitness. To help us get there, we have our friend Dr. Scott Kaiser, a physician specializing in geriatric medicine who is dedicated to helping us all meet our healthy and active aging goals. Take it away, Dr. Kaiser. Let's get on the move. One of the great things about physical activity is there are so many different ways to make it a part of our everyday lives. And this doesn't need to cost a whole lot of money. Staying active can help you continue to do the things you enjoy and stay independent as you age. Our 12 contestants are well aware of that. They want to stay independent. They've been told by doctors, friends, and family. They've even told themselves that they need to get up and get moving to get on that healthy aging pathway. Together, let's discover the things that get us excited about keeping active every day and embrace a life that's on the move. And now let's meet our 12 contestants. From the blue team, Hi, I'm Mariko, and at this stage, I'm really missing my dog, but I'm finding new ways of keeping myself on the move. Hi, I'm David, and at this stage, it's still really hard, but I still dream of being your exercise diva. I'm Lilia. At this stage, I'm just thinking about my children. I'm Leveda. I'm tired. I'm weary, but I am still on the move. I'm James S., and at this stage, I'm going to take the uh, stay away. Hi, I'm sure, and I, at this stage, I'm just really happy my dogs still enjoy walking. And from the red team. Hi, I'm Gloria, and I'm on the stage to fight heart disease. I'm Mary. At this stage, I'm still moving slowly, but I am improving. I'm James D., and at this stage of my life, I never knew I could walk so far. No pain, no gain. Hi, my name is Arturo, and at this stage, my mind is clear. I'm Lee. I'm having a hard time, but I'm going to keep on moving. Now, to help us get started, Dr. Scott Kaiser. All right, all right, everybody. Okay, okay. Now, each week, we'll be trying a variety of new activities. We found a way to make it fun with the Zumba game. We developed a healthy walking program and we got acquainted with some exercise fundamentals. You've all set goals and are out there working hard to get these steps up and keep moving. So let's talk a little bit about some keys to success. We've got to make it a priority, guys. And then we got to make it fun and enjoyable. It really starts with us, though. Each day we have to make those active decisions. All right, now to help us add a little active grooving to all that active moving, our very own special health coaches on the move, Amelia and EJ. Let's give it up for Amelia and EJ. All right, all right. All right, everyone, are we ready to dance? Yeah! All right. A great way to getting committed to getting active and staying active is to find a local community that you enjoy. A dance class is a perfect example of something that's both fun and social. And for today's activity, we've invited two dance instructors to help you through a routine. Come on in. Hi. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? Okay, we're gonna get you moving. Joanne and I have been dance instructors for many years, teaching seniors, and it has been wonderful, okay? They love to dance, they love to move. It's not only your body and puts you in better shape, but it's your mind. Your mind, you learn the routines, take, may take a while, but everything works. I mean, the, the mind is wonderful and it's keeping you young. So we're gonna 
dance today. We're going to divide you into two groups. And Joanne will teach one group, and I'll teach another group, and we're going to have a ball. Okay? So let's move. Since I started this program, I am healthy and losing weight. And on the move. No more couch potato for me. The last two steps are front, back, front. I'm so much more flexible now. It was a little hard on the beginning. This is a Zumba thing. I never did that in my life. but. Now everything is coming more easy and easier. Your body gets more agile and everything is good. We try to take walks every so often, but since I've been on the move, I walk a lot more. Well, all right. Looks like you guys are really having fun out there. Now let's drop in and see what EJ is preparing for our healthy plate to keep us on the move. I'm back in the kitchen with our health coach on the move and chef extraordinaire, EJ, for another healthy recipe. What do you have for us today, EJ? Well, Scott, we have the soy chorizo and eggs quesadilla. So was that, wait, soy chorizo? Soy chorizo, yes. So here you are again with all these healthy substitutions. You have egg whites, mm -hmm. soy chorizo, yes. whole wheat tortillas. Of course. And you're telling me this, and of course our local Produce, produce yeah. And this is going to taste good? It's going to be delicious, guys. It's going to be delicious. Yes. Well, you've been right every time. I'll let you get to it. The City of Los Angeles Department of Aging provides federal, state, and locally funded programs and services for the city's seniors and family caregivers. Most of the department's programs and services are provided through its 16 multipurpose senior centers, which are located throughout the city, as far northwest as Northridge and as far south as Wilmington. Seniors are welcome to visit any of our senior centers, but if they want to take advantage of specific services, such as transportation, home delivered meals, and care management, they should contact the center that serves the zip code they live in. You can call 1-800-510-2020, that's 1-800-510-2020, to find out which senior center serves your zip code. I want to take a minute to visit with our friends here at One Generation. There are so many things going on here. We have about 70 classes a week. Everything from exercise and dance and knitting, crocheting, life writing stories, many, many classes. And there we were talking about how important the involvement of the senior community is, not only to protect existing programs, but to kind of hold off uh, potential cutbacks in programs. Yeah, we're seeing a, a reduction in the number of centers in the community. Our seniors are very sensitive to that, and they're very willing to speak up and speak out. There is a benefit to this, that not only do seniors stay active, it keeps the community together. Absolutely. We're really big on collaboratives with other people in the community. Um, even us having the opportunity to support a show like On The Move has been just an amazing opportunity for us here at One Generation. Well, we certainly appreciate you hosting our On The Move crew, and it was great sport. We really enjoyed ourselves. Kathy, Larry, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And now it's time for this week's Chalk Talk. Today we've been putting together some dance routines as a great way to tap into all of that creative energy, stay active, and have fun. We're dancing our way towards health. And of course, one of our goals is to keep our memory sharp and our brains healthy. Exactly. And that's why we have brought in Dr. Gary Small, an expert on memory and aging. He's a director of the UCLA Longevity Center and author of the bestseller, The Alzheimer's Prevention Program. His book shows you how to keep your brain healthy for the rest of your life. Here's someone who can really tell us exactly how and why to stay on the move. Welcome, Dr. Gary Small. 
I am so thrilled to be here. And what you're doing is incredible. It's helping you to live better longer. You are getting your heart to pump oxygen and nutrients to your brain. It's getting those brain cells to sprout branches and communicate better. So it's building a healthy brain and it's actually lowering your risk for Alzheimer's disease. But I'm gonna challenge you. I've got another challenge for you. I've got a challenge that you should go on the Alzheimer's prevention program. That means taking your physical conditioning and combining it with some other strategies. And we're just talking about some simple strategies. Diet, a brain healthy diet means eating antioxidant fruits and vegetables. It means eating omega-3 fats from fish and nuts. And the fish, you've gotta broil it or you, got, you can't fry it, that doesn't count. And we want to get whole grains in your diet. We want you to control your body weight. That's going to protect your brain. We also want you to manage stress. Dancing and physical exercise helps you manage stress, but you can do other stress management exercises and combine that with simple memory techniques that will help jumpstart your memory almost immediately. And what we're going to do, we're going to give you our book, and put you on the seven day jumpstart program. And you're gonna do assessment tools, so you're gonna see what your memory is at the start, and see how much you improve after just seven days. And that's important because that's gonna motivate you to continue the program for the rest of your life. And that's the key to delaying the onset of Alzheimer's. I can't guarantee you're not going to get it, but the science tells us that you may be able to delay the onset of symptoms one, two, three or four more years. Now, before we embark on my seven day Alzheimer's prevention program and do that challenge, I understand you have some team challenges of your own. Now, to help us decide which team's going to win, we've got some folks here who are well into their 70s, 80s and 90s who will help us decide. And these are people who are out there and they keep moving themselves. So let's see those people. Let's meet them right now. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, this is great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'm Ruth, and I love to dance. And this is Marion, and you love to do something new every day. Is that yes, right? Yes, I do. And this is Esther, and Esther, you love to dance. And this is Mary Lee, and she loves to teach. So we're the judges. We want you to have fun and smile and enjoy it, because that's what we do every day. And we're going to dance right off. Now let's see how EJ's dish turned out on our healthy plate. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. What do we have here, EJ? We have a whole wheat tortilla with soy chorizo as a quesadilla ready to go. Oh, that looks fantastic. And Oh my goodness, who do we have here? Patricia Bragg, Hello. health food pioneer, inspiration to us all. And what do you have to say, Patricia? You are what you eat, what you drink, what you breathe, what you think, what you say, and what you do. Oh, so true. With those words of wisdom, before we know it, we'll all be on the move. Now that we're really moving here, how about this week's team challenge? Blue team, you're up first. Here comes our blue team, looking good. Hey, look at that fancy footwork. Let's get up and join in. Up, 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 let's dance. Oh, nice little spin move. And a little extra shoulder action from David. Looking good. Hey, I think everybody was paying attention to Dr. Gary Small. We're giving our brains and our bodies a good workout here. Let's keep moving. What a great way to get those steps and having fun. Oh, Mariko's really getting into it back there. I'm sure our judges are loving this. And let's see what they had to say. Well, I thought you had great energy and vitality, and I'm giving you a nine. And I thought you had great footwork. Those feet were really moving. <laughs> I thought 
thought you had great rhythm and body movements, and I love your ability to correct yourselves when you made a mistake oh. and to fall back into it. And I'm giving you an A. Oh, I love all of you. And that handsome gentleman in the back, oh, you have personality. And all of you have great footwork. Oh, and I'm giving you an A. Oh. All right, so 35 is the score to beat. Now it's time for the red team to show us their fancy footwork. Red team is looking good. They've been out there practicing, determined to catch up with the blue team. They promise to come with something red hot, hot, hot. And look at Mary getting into it. Everyone can get involved, even in your chair. Come on, everybody, let's get moving. Oh, there it is, hot, hot, hot. Way to go, Red Team. Let's see what our judges thought of that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I loved your smiles. It was just great. You were having fun, and I give you an eight. Well, I love the way you move those bodies back and forth, and I give you a ten. And I just loved your great attitude, and I give you a nine. I love your chili peppers blues, and I give you a t what a dime. That gives the red team a total of 36, and you've won our team challenge. Way to go. Hot, hot, hot. Now let's see how we all did in this week's checkpoint. You've all uploaded your activity data into the health vault. Remember, each step you take will earn points towards your team's total. Each week at our checkpoint, we review your profiles and take a look at your accomplishments, the ways you've improved, and, of course, a few of those inevitable setbacks. This week, we've asked you to write out an exercise plan following the worksheet in the Exercise and Physical Activity Guide. Red Team, you won this week's team challenge, adding bonus points to the overall team total. Now let's see how you did individually over the past week. Gloria, let's start with you. Gloria, you've been doing a great job. I know how important this is to you. Every step you're taking is a step fighting heart disease. And now I also saw on your activity profile that you've been doing other things like Zumba. So that's fantastic. Let's see how you did. 14,200. You're doing 14,000 a day. Far yes. exceeding the goal. Keep it up. Now the goal is to just keep it going, OK? Great. Thank keep you, it up. Gloria. Mary? Mary, you've been doing a great job. I saw in your activity profile that you added dancing with your husband, which I think is fantastic. That's great. And you reactivated your gym membership. I did. So I know you're still struggling. I know the knee pain makes it difficult, but I think, let's see how you did. 3,900. That's fantastic. Okay. Even though the totals are lower than other people, I think I'm doing good. Excellent. Couldn't agree with you more. It's all about improvement. That's, That's right. what On The Move is. It's about improvement. And look at that difference. And I bet you're feeling the difference already. Sure. Great. Mary, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, James D. James D., you've been a walking machine. I can't wait to see how many steps you've got. And you reported all sorts of other activities on your profile. And I know you've been doing this with some ankle pain. And I know that no pain, no gain is your philosophy, but we want to be mindful of the pain, keep it safe, but just keep up. Let's see how you did. 5,900. <laughs> Look at that, James. Almost 6,000 steps a day. <laughs> I think you were doing about 2,000 at most when this all started out. You got it the up to 6,000. Yeah. Keep it up. You know, your goal is 10,000. If you're having pain, Take a break, be mindful of it. We've got to use the stretching and strengthening techniques that we've been practicing. You're going to be on the move before we know. Arturo, please step forward. Arturo, I'm so glad that you're feeling the positive effects. And you're telling us that as you've been walking more, reporting more and more activities on your profile, that you're feeling clear. You're feeling a mental clarity that you haven't felt in years. That's right. I think that's fantastic. It is. So it's let's nice. see so how you did. 7,000. Great, Arturo. That is fabulous. 
Arturo, that's just short of your goal of 10,000 steps a day. Now let's use that activity plan. Let's use the tools we have to help us meet our goal. You're almost there. Keep it up. I know you can make it. Thank you. Elke. Elke, congratulations. You're doing a great job. And I understand looking at your activity profile, you've been walking in the park, yes. which is exactly what we talked about last time, developing a safe walking program. So I'm glad that you're embracing the, the lessons. Let's see how we're doing here. 11,500. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. That yeah. is great. So before it was just swimming in sweets, yeah. and now you're a walking machine. <laughs> and, Unbelievable. And no sweets, and I love six pounds. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Feeling good, yeah, looking really good. Like that. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. Keep it up. Yeah. Keep, it, Keep up. it up. And now we have Lee. Now, Lee, you've been doing a great job. And you reminded us about something, that whenever we set goals, things will always come up that get in the way. You had a tough week. You were getting all your steps in. You lost your Fitbit tracker. You had to do things to help take care of your mother. You have to take care of family. Things come up that get in the way. But despite all that, you found a way to be here. You're sticking with it. And let's see how you're doing. An average of 8,000 steps in a day. Fantastic. You're averaging 8,000 steps a day. You're just shy of your goal of 10,000 steps a day. You're reporting all sorts of activities in your profile. So just keep it up. I know it gets hard. I know we set goals, things get in the way, but we can overcome them together. We're a team. We can do this. Now it's time for the blue team. Mariko, we've mentioned it before. Walking your dog was your main form of exercise. You're still grieving the loss of your dog. We knew that you had to find a way to fill in other activities, and I cannot believe how many things you're reporting in your profile. <laughs> I mean, you are all over town doing all sorts of great stuff. You are certainly on the move. Let's see how many steps you did. 11,000. I was aiming for consistency, so I was really <laughs> going for that 10,000 a day. That's right. You're averaging just under 11,000 steps a day, so you're doing exactly what you set out to do consistently meeting your goal. David, you're at a turning point in your life. Yes, sir. Whether it's your physical health, your mental health, you know you need to get on the move and you're doing something about it. Let's see how you're doing. Average in a day, 11,000. Wow. Your daily <laughs> average is 11,000. Here you are, you haven't exercised since the 1980s. <laughs> you're doing a couple steps here and there around your chair in your apartment, right? You know, and now you're doing 11,000 steps a day. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I am already. I'm just glad I can do it. Lilia, look at this. We, we talked about when you came out and you auditioned for On The Move. You said, you know, I really want to do this. But you weren't even sure because it's, you're, you, you were shy, you didn't know how you'd be with the team. Now you're the team player. You're nearly the team captain if we had those. And you're out there, you're, you're walking all over the place. Let's see how you did. 20,000 steps. So that's definitely your number one on the leaderboard there. Wow. And I think just an inspiration to all of us. 20,000 steps a day. I don't know how you're finding the time and energy to do that, but just keep it up. Are you feeling okay? Are you pushing yourself okay. too hard? Or? I'm feeling okay. Okay. Just you just can't stop. All right. <laughs> She's going down. That's great. Now, Levada. You just described yourself as lazy before all this started. Yeah. You know, we've been through this, and you didn't want to move, you didn't want to exercise, but slowly I saw you warming up to it. I see you off to the side getting into it. And on your activity profile, I saw a lot of activities keeping up with your younger man. <laughs> so, There's so, some value. I know that exercise. keeps you busy. Okay, so let's see how you did. Average step, 7,000 in a day. All right, you're averaging 7,000 steps a day. Almost at your goal there of 10,000. So you need to get that man out there walking with you. So keep it up. And, and if you use the tools, that we have, you're a great team player, you're giving all your effort, you'll be at your goal before you know it. James, wonderful job. Everybody's on the move here, and I know that you have other commitments that make it hard sometimes to find the time. We've mentioned before that your wife does suffer from Alzheimer's disease. I hope that today's special guest, Dr. Gary Small, sheds some light onto things we can do to cope with this disease and things we can do to prevent it. This will help. With caring for your wife twice a day, re religiously going there, you're still finding the time to get out there and walk. I think it's an inspiration. 
and let's see how you did. 11,000 steps. Wow. wow. With all of his obligations, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It really Thank is. You. Keep up the great work, stay on the move, and just let us know what we can do to help you stay on track. And now it's time for Sure. I know you had some challenges this week. You were out there walking, but you hit a little lull midweek. You were, you were feeling like you, you weren't wanting to get out. What was that all about? What happened? I was just feeling not very social, so I um, opted to stay in the house and do things there. Barriers, obstacles will come up, mm -hmm. but you decided to keep active in the house. Yes. And let's see how you did with your steps. An average of 11,000 steps in a day. Wow. Look at that. What do you mean not bad? You're already <laughs> above your goal, 11,000 steps a day. So keep it up and let us know what we can do to help you stay on the move. Thank you, Scott. Well, we had a great time at One Generation. Now it's time for the wrap up. Adding up all those steps, 50,500. With an additional 18,000 points from the activity profile. Then we add the team challenge points of 35,000. So in week three, their total was 103,500, bringing their grand total to 177,900 for the red team. And with all those blue team steps, they racked their team up 65,900 points. And another 9,000 points through their activity profile. So the blue team's total through week three at one generation, 74,900, which brings their grand total to 210,700. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. Tune in next week to see how our contestants do in their pursuit of health. Now let's get out there and get moving. Together, we can find a way to get active and stay active every day. Before we know it, we'll all be on the move. and I walk here mostly every morning since I've been on the move. This is my favorite place to walk. Kenny Han Park has a beautiful view from the ocean to the mountains. This is where I come to walk. It's so beautiful here. And I like it because there's benches, I can sit down, walk a little, sit a little, walk a little, sit a little. So this is the Los Angeles Police Academy Rock Garden. And it's such a peaceful and tranquil place that I come to walk. I've been coming here for 44 years. My husband is a retired law enforcement officer. I come here more often now because I'm on the move. If you haven't been active for a long time, it is important to start out at a low level of effort and work your way up slowly. Beginning slowly will help you become more fit without straining your body. You may want to talk to your doctor if you decide to start a vigorous exercise program or significantly increase your physical activity level. Exercise is safe for almost everyone. If you have a medical condition, exercise may actually improve it. You may want to talk with your doctor about how your health condition might affect your ability to be active. Support for this program was provided by the L.A. Capra Center, empowering older adults to stay as active and healthy as possible. The John A. Hartford Foundation, dedicated to improving the health of older Americans. Next week, we'll be going to the Senior Center, a great resource for our community. We'll be hitting the gym and joined by some wonderful friends who are really leading the way in active aging. That's next week on On the Move.